Asia is a giant place with tons of people and even greater traditions and history. However, just because it's so old doesn't mean it's fully understood. In fact, we're far from figuring everything out, if that's even possible. It's magical! <laughs> From bizarrely colored chicken eggs to kung fu nuns, here are 15 of the most mysterious discoveries made in Asia. <laughs> strange Slope In 1990, the discovery of the Strange Slope, found in Xinjiang, drew worldwide attention. Its fame continues to rise and spread as tourists from home and abroad rush to catch a glimpse of the bizarre occurrence. Today, the slope lies at the heart of the Strange Slope scenic area, which features a number of other natural attractions now to accommodate all the people coming to see it, including the area's famed Three Mysteries and Five Great Mountains. The slope is strange because gravity seems to work backwards here. Cars roll up hills, not down. In actuality, there aren't any gravity-defying stunts being accomplished, just an illusion. Thanks to the unique landscape surrounding the slope, it only appears to be rolling. There are a few places like this in the world, but none quite so drastic as this. Areas like this have intrigued experts for years. When this was first discovered, scientists arrived with all sorts of magnetic scanning equipment to determine what was causing the magnetic differences. It was then they realized the landscape contributed to a giant optical illusion. Despite knowing this truth today, it's still just as a amazing to see for yourself. Just let yourself be tricked and you can open up a world of magic before you. Because the slope itself is a small one in relation to the surrounding area, your eyes can't differentiate the gradient and tricks your mind into displaying it as a downhill slope. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. Just what in the heck is going on here in this picture? It appears that some sort of sludge or liquid has started to bubble up from the surrounding land, drawing attention far and wide. The people there are snapping photos of whatever the substance is, so they're just as confused as everyone else. The muck seems to be some sort of gelatinous material that's causing major problems in the area. Anyone have a clue what this occurrence can be? Want to share your thoughts? Drop a line in the comments and don't forget to use the hashtag missing topic to be heard. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Green Egg Yolk Turns out the story about green eggs and ham isn't that far-fetched after all. Recent footage of eggs with green yolks have been captured in Kila and it turns out in more rampant than some off chance. To say the least, videos like these have been making the rounds around the internet. The new sensation is leaving many experts scratching their heads and crying hoax. The mysterious footage of the green eggs was first uploaded, dropped by a farmer wanting to share the crazy story. According to the original discoverer, it was reported that the eggs came from his very own chickens, who had been laying regular yellow eggs all the years previous. Could a change in diet or environment cause a whole flock to produce green eggs? Seems feasible, seeing as green eggs are right there in front of you. When cracked, the egg contains a regular egg white, but the typical golden colored yolk was a muted green. He went on to explain that save for the color, the egg tasted and smelled just like a normal egg. One interested party who had raised chickens themselves suggested the answer could lie within the diet and a change of recipe from a feed maker. For example, if chicken finds berries just lying around, they'll eat them. Because many berries, like blackberries, have extremely high melanin content, this could affect their eggs. It's on the farmer to figure this one out, it appears. <laughs> Kung Fu Nuns There's one nunnery that not only teaches humans how to become more spiritual, but also a deadly form of martial arts. It has quite an empowering claim to fame, seeing as it's the only one in Nepal. The nuns of the Buddhist Drukpa order train three hours every single day. This includes breaking bricks with their bare hands, flying through the air like some superhero, and weapons training that's considered some of the best in the world. These strong men seek to make the world a better place with their newfound strength. They once carried and delivered supplies to hard-to-reach villages after a devastating earthquake struck Kathmanda back in 2015. The so-called Kung Fu nuns also teach self-defense classes for women and once biked 14,000 miles to protest human trafficking of women and girls. As you can see, their strength lies in empowering women to stand up and take a stance. 
Purple Island. The famed Banwal and Bakchi Islands, more commonly referred to as the Purple Islands, can be found on the southwestern coast of South Korea. Originally, these islands' main source of profit was from their prolific farming communities, but they managed to transform their identity thanks to a special project dubbed the Purple Project. The goal was to pull in tourists from all over the world by covering every inch of their villages with different shades of purple paint. The Sherwin-Williams slogan of Cover the World comes to mind. This project refreshed the town and the people. Nearly every corner on these islands are Instagram-worthy shots. Banwal and Bakchi have since raised their tourism numbers by an astounding 20%. A whopping 500,000 people have visited since 2018. If there was a place in the world to feel like you entered some sort of fantasy realm, these would be the places to get that fix. <laughs> Whistling Village There's a wild village in India called Megakalia. It's referred to as the Kong Thong Whistling Village. The people there have a unique culture. Just like every person is given a name at birth, the people here are also given a tune for them to whistle that's unique to them. These tunes are like a nickname and can be whistled to call people from all over the island. You hear your whistle, you come running. His tune thus becomes their name and identity. This local dialect is mostly inspired by the sounds of birds and nature that present when the person is born. The song is unique for each person living and dying with the individual. Tunes are often similar, but no two people have the same. Mothers often utilize this tune to hail their kids. In the hills surrounding the area, echoes travel far, which helps reach longer distances. A name might not echo throughout those hills, but a piercing sound like a whistle can. You might not hear the name, but you can hear the tune for sure. This age-old tradition has been practiced for as long as anyone can remember, not really knowing when it first started or how it stuck. <laughs> Road Rooftops in some heavily dense cities, they're thinking outside the box in order to solve the worst traffic problems. In these Chinese cities, they even have roads on top of buildings for cars to get from one building to the next. Pretty neat, right? While it's cool, it also presents its own set of challenges and dangers. For starters, driving that high poses its own set of obvious risks. A car crash up there could end up far more destructive than one on the street. While it certainly helps people get to where they're going faster, it also makes one heck of a mess. The construction can be found in the city of Chongqing which has 8.2 million people. The building saw a two-lane rooftop and running atop numerous businesses, conjoined with a major car park. It's not the first and probably will be far from the last innovative transportation system that China has come up with. Just recently, they also unveiled a light railway train system that actually passes through an apartment complex. Yeah, right through it. Burning Mountain Festival? You've probably heard about the Burning Man Festival, but have you heard of the Burning Mountain Festival? If not, today is your lucky day. The Wakakusa Yamayaki, as it's referred to in Japanese, is an annual festival where the grass on the hillside of Nara's Mount Wakakusayama is literally set ablaze. The mountain can be found at the eastern end of Nara Park, but when it's lit, can be seen throughout the entire city. The fiery glow casts a stark reminder of the dangers of Mother Nature. The burning of the mountain itself is preceded by a fire works display, so this is truly showing fire and all its magic. It holds over the human imagination. The festival takes place on the fourth Saturday of January, but will be canceled or moved if weather is not permitting. The temples in the area all partake in this dazzling festival. Because of the city's elevation, no matter where you are in the city, you can see the amazing festival attractions. <laughs> Solid Gold Hotel This is the world's first gold-plated hotel, and it's as luxurious as you would imagine it to be. Not only is the hotel itself made of gold, but also much of the stuff in the rooms like bathtubs, toilets, and even a sink. Perhaps the craziest thing about this hotel is even the food is gold. Okay, maybe just one item on the list. A steak is golden, but still. These delectable-looking tomahawk steaks with gold leaf for good measure, they're really going all out when it comes to gold at this hotel, as you better be prepared to spend a pretty penny if you want to stay here. Build as Southeast Asia's most luxurious hotel, it sits by Zhang Vo Lake in the center of the Vietnamese capital. There's also a whopping and impressive 200-square-foot, 24-karat gold tiled infinity pool with breathtaking views of the surrounding city. The owner says he wants his hotel to be the most luxurious in the world and is making huge strides to achieve that goal. Heck, even the shows they put on in the event area sees golden-colored models and actors doing their thing. If you like gold, this is the place to be. 
heavy metal trees. These trees really know how to rock out. Okay, maybe not that kind of heavy metal. Heavy metal, such as zinc and nickel, is the last thing any plant species wants to live around in abundance. The potentially deadly metals aren't good for thriving life. Some trees in the world, however, seem to bleed metal when they're cut. What the heck is going on here? Experts say a specialized group, now known as hyperaccumulators, have evolved to absorb the typically toxic metals into their stems, leaves, and even seeds. They think it evolved to protect itself from insects and predators, which the nickel acts like a natural deterrent. Its latex has an otherworldly blue-green color because it also contains up to 25% nickel. Pretty incredible, right? Now you know what it means whenever the quote, life always finds a way is said. The tree's affinity for nickel first was revealed in the 1970s, and research into other hyper-accumulator plants have only gotten that much more interesting and desirable. Scientists are dedicated to figuring out why it evolved in such a way. <laughs> Virtual students If you have ever heard of the term digital or virtual person, you might be wondering just what the heck that could possibly mean. If it's a person, it can't be digital. This technology is just bizarre. It essentially is an artificial intelligence system that looks like a human but can only be interacted with on the screen. Seeing as there isn't actually a person there, it's essentially a video game. However, they intend to bring this intelligence into robotics, bring the actual being into reality. It's like they've never seen an artificial intelligence apocalypse movie or something. Terminator, anyone? We all know how crazy the world can get when machines start to see themselves as equals with humans, so let's make sure that mistake isn't made in development. The virtual student introduces herself by explaining that since she was born, she's loved literature and that she was made to be able to compose writing as well. While this system isn't fleshing out any new fantasy novels for the time being, a future update could bring that technology later down the line. The next New York Times bestseller might be from a robot soon. Hmm. Wall of Hives Bees don't typically hang around wooden hives dangling 4,000 feet above sea level, but modern beekeepers in some areas have placed about 700 bee colonies at around the height on the side of a mountain in Chenongjia National Nature Reserve in China. Asian honeybee populations have been drastically shrinking, and bee tenders needed new ways to keep them protected from predators and pesticides. The choice of placing them on a high cliff wall was the best solution they could think of, and it's been proven to be extremely beneficial. A world without bees is a very different world from the one you know and love. Some plants would likely never grow again without the pollinating power of honeybees. Now, way up there on the mountain, they can rest easy knowing they're safe from predators and other hazards. The hive homes also attract wild bees to come and settle while they make the honey. The more houses they put up, the more bees are showing up. They must really like these new homes. The keepers are then forced to scale the dangerous cliffs using rope ladders to maintain and collect the honey. Pollinator insects are vital to the world ecosystem. Essentially, pollinators need us and we need them. Dragon Chickens not all chickens are the same. The rare Vietnamese chicken breed called the Dong Tao, otherwise known as dragon chickens, are prized for their delicious meat and eggs, but one feature makes it stand out from the rest, those crazy dragon-looking legs. The Dong Tao sport one of the thickest leg sizes among birds of a similar size. This breed is endemic to the Dong Tao commune in Khoi Chau district, about 60 miles from Hanoi. These now rare birds were once bred exclusively to serve the royal family in mandarins. This species is now cherished by chicken breeders. You can find its meat being served up in five-star restaurants and other exclusive food joints. The legs themselves are a delicacy and a favorite part by the locals. It certainly has chicken has a daunting figure, a healthy body, and stout legs. A male adult can weigh up to 15 pounds and develop legs as thick as a human's wrist. Hens are typically white, while the cocks have bolder colors. <laughs> Fake glaciers. So-called ice stupas may look cool, but they're bringing water to some of the driest, coldest places on the planet. Did you know there are many places around the globe that rely on ice glaciers for their daily lives? They're an irreplaceable source of fresh, clean water. During the melting in summer, a portion of mountain glaciers release water that the valleys below rely on supplying vast cities and industries in places like South America and India. With climate change happenings, these vital sources are dwindling by the day. In order to accommodate the vast amounts of people that rely on this nourishment, experts have begun making their own fake glaciers that replicate the natural process to a T. These iconic mountains have an abundance of glaciers, but large areas also fall into what are called 
the monsoon rain shadow zone, which are basically just areas extremely arid because rainfall is blocked by the surrounding mountains. An increasingly viable solution to this problem is these artificial constructions. The artificial glaciers are built to store winter water for use in the arid months of the late spring and early summer when meltwater is scarce. It was first invented back in 2013 by engineer Sonam Wangchuk in Ladakh to conserve the tower of ice as long into the year as possible so that as it melts, it feeds the fields until the real glacier meltwaters start flowing again later in the summer. <laughs> Robot Goat Kawasaki made a robot goat, and it's even rideable. The amazing robotics division at the company has released footage of its newest project that shows a scientist riding along his robot animal. The joints, AI, and materials used are all state-of-the-art. This robot goat is the byproduct of Kawasaki's humanoid program, which recently unveiled Kaleido, a robot engineered in a joint effort with the University of Tokyo that replicates a human. The goat was called Bex, after the Ibex goat found in the Middle East. The robot here moves very similar to what Boston Dynamics did with their robot dog, Spot. The robot can be observed at the front of the stage performing all sorts of neat tricks like folding its four legs in half and popping out wheels on each robotic leg. This is actually how the goat gets down for the rider to get on because standing on all fours, the bot is pretty tall. The speeds attainable while prancing or being ridden is pretty slow in its current state and Kawasaki officials have yet to release any information regarding such states as speed, range, and milk production. That last one was a joke. Bike-powered sock This incredible system is one of the most amazing methods in which socks are produced. Called Cherix, it's an original system that power heavy machinery thanks to a pedal bike attached to it. It operates just as you might imagine. Hop on the bike, start pedaling, and the machine does the rest of the work for you. By pedaling the bike, a knitting machine connected to it operates and runs the sock until it's dispensed. The original idea for this mechanism came after a power source shut down, delaying major production queues. They even have many tours that allow people to walk through the factory and see how the whole process works firsthand. It was just invented back in 2017, so it's a fairly new piece of machinery. They plan on mass producing the machines at some point in the future, so that anyone can knit their own socks should they have the necessary materials. The best part is they opened up the factory for anyone to come in and make their own socks. Just choose the colors, thread type, and pedal yourself into a new cozy pair of socks made by you. Is it really that surprising that a hyper-advanced piece of tech like this comes out of Japan? Asia is home to some wild stuff. With a landscape and culture as rich and ancient as it is in Asia, there are all manners of mysteries to be solved, some originating back in ancient times, and some more recent discoveries. Sure, this isn't unique to Asia, and there are amazing mysteries to be solved all over the world. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox. Mm-hmm. <laughs>